Hi everyone. In this video I wanted to provide a short demonstration of a macro that I found for SPSS uh, where this macro allows you to generate multivariate normal random variables. So up to this point uh, whenever I've used SPSS to simulate data I've relied uh, heavily on code written at this website right here. Uh, the nice thing about the macro is that it does not uh, require any kind of coding and it's pretty easy to use. So what I'm going to do is include a link underneath the video description to this website right here so you can download the macro. Uh, I will also include a link to uh, this site right here in case you want uh, to obtain that, uh, that code for uh, simulating multivariate normal variables. Um, so to use the ma so to obtain the macro, uh, you just go to the little button that says download here and you click on it and it'll open up a Google Drive and I'll go ahead and click on download and it goes to my downloads folder uh, and it's waiting for me to install it uh, to SPSS. So just kind of going into my downloads folder you can see this is it uh, right here it just says gen MVN. Okay so now let's install it. I'm in uh, SPSS right on this uh, screen and I'm going to go to extensions, go to utilities and then go down to install custom dialog so I'll click on that and uh, here's my um, macro and so I'll just click open right there it already it says I've already installed it which is is correct uh, and I'll just go ahead and kind of overwrite but you can see now it says dialog files installed to analyze then gener generating multivariate normal variables so when you go to the uh, analyze right here you can see the first option at least on my screen is generating multivariate normal uh, variables so the first thing that you have to do uh, when you want to generate your your data is to create variables as well as a correlation matrix you'll also be inputting uh, means and standard deviation so what am I uh, do at this point let's say I want to uh, generate a um, uh, simulated data for four uh, variables um, and so what I'm going to need to do is to enter a correlation matrix for those four variables and that means that in SPSS I'm going to need to start up by going to uh, going under variable view and creating names for my variables. So I'll just call my variables x1, x2, oops, x2, x3, and x4. And so now when I go back under data view, I can enter in uh, the, the uh, full correlation matrix. So in this case, so you need to in, uh, make sure that you enter uh, the the uh, correlations both you know the complete or full matrix so uh, that means that you're going to have the same numbers appearing above the principal diagonal as those below. Okay so in the uh, interest of time I've gone ahead and copied and pasted a matrix in here so you can see uh, here is our principal diagonal and you can see there's our 0.87 between x1 and x2 and you can see that that value also appears above the principal diagonal and, and so forth so it's a full symmetric uh, matrix. Next what we're going to do is enter uh, means for these variables so I'm going to just put in some uh, numbers for possible means uh, for these variables and um, it's really just this simple so um, the last uh, step is to input the standard deviations for the variables so um, again in the interest of time I'm just going to go ahead and paste some in uh, for them so there they are so as you go back and you look at this again you have a full symmetric uh, correlation matrix that's given you have then on the next line you've got your uh, means for the variables and then on the next line you've got your standard deviations so at this point now we just go to analyze click on generating multivariate normal variables and specify the the, uh, the, uh, the total size or the total n. So what I'll do is I'll put in, let's just say I want to generate uh, 100 observations assuming uh, this particular matrix uh, right here. What I'll do is I'll click on OK and so at this point you'll see that we get uh, you know some general information about the variables and so forth and then you'll have a new file that contains your new variables so these are the you know x1 through x4s um, it's just given uh, variable names of call 1 through call 4 um, and you can see that we have a hundred observations that are given right there so that's uh, literally all it takes in order to generate uh, multivariate normal data uh, using that macro 
One little detail uh, that I do want to mention um, on the website, uh, it gives you the instructions. Um, you'll see in, um, uh, on this particular website right here, uh, there's a demonstration with, it looks like there are three variables, but the matrix is actually not a full correlation matrix because uh, there are actually the first four rows contains um, the correlations involving four variables. So there's, you'll see right here, there's a screenshot with only three of them. So uh, don't get tripped up by that. There, there actually should be four variables, uh, four columns containing uh, the, the variables uh, with the correlations among all those four, and then there should be, um, you know, the means and standard deviations for, for all four of those variables. I'm sure that at some point this this will get corrected, but it's just uh, something to keep uh, be mindful of right now. Okay, so that uh, pretty well concludes this uh, demonstration, and I appreciate you watching.